Hi guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at uh, the Samsung Gear Icon X, and this is the US version of Samsung headsets that was just released yesterday. Let's check them out. So now you've seen several reviews have been published on YouTube on the Gear Icon X, but they've been the international version. Uh, just yesterday, Samsung made an announcement that the Gear Icon X, as well as the Gear 360, would be available in the U.S., as well as, I think it's the Gear um, Level, which is uh, the sports headset. So uh, today we have the uh, U.S. version of the Gear Icon X, and what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing, we'll do an audio test, we'll see what's included and how we would set this up um, on a Samsung Galaxy Note. Note 7. Let's go ahead and go through that process. Now before doing the unboxing I just wanted to cover some of the specs because these aren't any ordinary headphones uh, or sports buds. Uh, they are cord free, uh, completely cord free. They're two individual pieces that are going to rest inside of your ear. And not only are they cord free but they also have some enhanced capabilities. As you can see right here uh, they are fitness tracker so you don't really need an additional fitness tracker to be able to uh, identify your heart rate your time your distance your speed calories burn while working out the earbuds themselves do this they also have the ability to play music so they're built in mp3 capability and they have four gig of memory that you can sync music to so that you could be literally phone free and just use the buds with um, the music and it would track all the information you see um, above now uh, here are some of uh, the features that you see or the sensors that these uh, earbuds have you have a uh, a heart rate sensor, accelerometer, uh, capacitive touch, so you tactile touch on the uh, earbuds themselves, uh, wireless, they are splash and sweat resistant. Uh, so using P2I, which is kind of like a nano coating that takes place. And then also you can notice that it has two 47 milliamp hour uh, batteries, one in each earpiece. And then the case that it comes with is also rechargeable. So you have 315 milliamp hour. So the earbuds, um, you know, come with a case and then it looks like it comes with some earbuds, um, you know, some tip chain uh, that you can switch. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see um, how it's packaged and all the accessories that come with. So the first thing we'll do is we'll slide the earbuds out of their container and we'll start with the bottom first. Here you have a quick start guide. Put that aside. You have um, ear stabilizers and earbuds so these are going to adjust based on uh, the size of your uh, inner ear as well as uh, the ear canal. You have a micro USB uh, charging cable. That's interesting. I'd expected USB-C. And you have a USB, a micro USB uh, port or connector. Um, again, surprising because, uh, you know, I guess it's for backward compatibility. You can always put a USB-C adapter here uh, to connect it to the note if you want it to. Uh, but that's included. And that's pretty much um, everything that's in the box. You also then have here uh, your charging station. So we'll, we'll pop this open. Um, and here's where the earbuds would rest. And that's pretty cool because uh, the, the reality is, is that you're going to take these off. And when you take these off, you're going to place them here. And they're just going to charge automatically. Now, it's, it's a little heavy, but it, again, is very small. If you can see um, in the palm of my hand. Um, something that can fit in your pocket if you have cargo pants uh, or in a purse backpack as well. You have the earbuds, and we'll get each one out. So, um, and they uh, have a little symbol on there, so they indicate right for right. It goes in your ear canal. Uh, we'll find out what all these things are in a couple seconds. And then on this side, you have the same situation. All right, so that's everything that's in the box. So now taking a closer look at the earbud themselves, um, this is a touchpad that you'll be able to use to interact and there's going to be some audio prompts. On the back here you'll notice that there's a pinhole mic uh, that you'll be able to use for taking phone calls it looks like. Uh, the wingtip that's going to allow you to stabilize things. Uh, heart rate sensor, so that's the heart rate sensor right there. Uh, the earbud, right, tip that's going to go in your ear canal. And it looks like that's it. That's everything that's to it. So really simple design. And obviously these are the little contact points that you'll use to charge it once it's in the case. Now this is the second earbud. And one of the things I wanted to highlight is that both earbuds have a pinhole mic. So that's interesting that each one has an independent mic. So we'll have to see how the audio quality is uh, for, for these when you're actually running or outside.
Now the charging credo is pretty straightforward. You have two LED indicators here, uh, left and right. You have this uh, button that when you press it, opens up the capsule. Uh, you have a left and right uh, bay for each one of the headsets. Uh, on the back, you do have a charging port with a um, LED light. Now, uh, placing the head uh, earbuds inside of the charging credo is pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure that you have the right for the right and the left for the left, and you just place it in. They don't snap. You don't get any audio or audible feedback, like a click or any tactile feedback. All you do is you put them in place, and then you push down. And once you push down like that, you'll get the two lights indicating that the uh, earbuds are actually charging. Now here are some of the controls. Um, it's kind of hard to illustrate it on the device themselves, but um, everything is all touch path. So what you're going to do is tap it once to pause or resume, tap twice to, again, to uh, play the next song, and tap three times uh, if you want to play the previous song. And now to uh, reject uh, or answer a call, um, you'll notice that you touch to answer, you touch and hold to reject the call. Uh, it does have readout uh, before exercising. You can have audio prompts enabled or disabled. And then right here, um, you can increase or decrease the volume just by swiping up or swiping down. Now, one of the things you'll need to do is download uh, and install the Gear uh, Manager software. Once you install the Gear Manager software and start it up, uh, and you place the earbuds in your ear, they're automatically going to be found, and we'll start the pairing process. Now you're able to determine what type of notifications are going to come to the gear icon. So all you do is indicate which ones you want, which applications you'll permit to communicate with it. And you notice you can pretty much have any of the uh, apps that you have on your phone. Uh, but here I've only selected these five because these are the ones that are important to me. I don't want to get a, any kind of notification when I get emails, text messages I would. Now another point of flexibility here is that you can configure either earbud as uh, the bud that's going to control when you answer phone calls. So uh, pretty interesting. It's also um, going to be the one that will record exercise data as you can see there, but the flexibility to choose either one is pretty neat. Now one thing to note is that after doing the setup, uh, initial setup and installation, uh, you could check for um, software updates, but you'll have to do that separately. So you'll need to use the gear icon X PC manager in order to do that. You could also set the maximum volume uh, for these and control that or, or, or set your volume as you can see here and also go into S Health as well as um, additional music settings. Now while you'll be able to stream music from your phone to your um, Icon X uh, earbuds, if you want to transfer music though uh, directly to them for standalone purposes, you'll need to do that. And as you can see right here, uh, you'll need to do that via a USB connection. So you'd put your headphones inside of a docking station that we saw that you use for charging and then transfer the music that way. Now, in addition to music notifications that we also looked at, there's some other things that you can do. So let's go into ambient sound. So what you could do is turn this on to remain aware um, of your surroundings. So uh, a lot of times when you p insert earbuds in your ear, the seal creates noise isolation and with enabling this feature will allow you to hear through the earbuds. I'm sure it's going to use a battery as well. Uh, reading a lot of menu options or um, you can have that on, that means that you'll be able to hear them when you're ta tapping so it's going to prompt you and you can see the things that you can modify here. You can also uh, change the language so to several languages here. So a lot of languages supported. You um, also then have the ability to select once again which is your main earbud. So go from left to right or right to left. So this concludes our unboxing and initial setup of the Gear Icon X US Edition. If you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it in the YouTube section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.